the second video about the question can two simple radio circuits work? Well, they can, in my opinion, and I want to demonstrate that. Here the circuit that I published in an earlier video, but <coughs> sorry, I didn't show, say, the tank circuit at the gate. Sorry, the base of the uh, BF199 NPN transistor. So not the gate anyway. Uh, that BF199 transistor is a kind of success number. Uh, it works very good. It works also very good on high frequencies, say the VHF frequencies. And here are the pin connections of that BF199. It only costs 25 cents. So, that's not a problem. Can never be a problem for uh, the radio hobbyists. The um, amplification factor, I tested that, was between, say, 110 and 130. I tested that at first with this transistor tester that in fact was made not for typical high frequency transistors anyway. On this transistor tester it showed that figure, say 130 times. And that's of course good. For instance, when you have here a transistor in the first stage that amplifies 130 times and in the second stage that amplifies also 130 times you have an enormous amplification given the signals that enter the coil. Uh, on the base of the first transistor. Uh, they are normally in the microvolts range. When we are talking about FM uh, radio circuits or say shortwave uh, radio circuits going from 2 MHz up to 30 MHz or even more say 1 microvolt or 0 0.5 microvolt or somewhat more 2 microvolt enter in the normal situation such an antenna here piece of wire uh, connected in this case without any uh, say tuning capacitor inside to the top of that uh, FM coil. So here's the circuit and when we are talking about the FM coil it has five windings of copper wire one millimeter diameter, massive wire, and here is that coil. Of course, uh, that coil uh, can only have, say, in this case, only have a, say, frequency band with the trimmer. And that trimmer is mounted here, and in fact it's mounted here. It's a 2 up to 20 picofarad trimmer and I've soldered here a kind of wire to it so that you can tune in in a very very simple way radio stations. 
that was the aim of the of this piece of wire. So we can set this coil between say in my opinion not tested anyway but it works between the 100 megahertz and say 130 megahertz perhaps for 130 megahertz you have to limit the uh, windings anyway that's purely a, a, a thing of doing experiments try to find the frequency band where you want to <coughs> listen to say VHF radio stations though I have to say and this is a extremely simple setup and it detects um, frequency modulated signals I think it happens somewhere here in this transistor. It also detects AM modulated signals. That also happens here. And I'm absolutely say uh, <laughs> sure that it works, but I cannot give a precise um, explanation. Anyway, it works. That's important. Perhaps there's also radio detection here, etc. Uh, when you want to go to, say, radio circuits in this band, for instance, a VHF radio for airplanes, etc., the coil must be adapted to that frequency band. And of course, with this one trimmer, it could be that the frequency band is very wide. So all kinds of frequencies between say 110 uh, megahertz and say 130 megahertz are here received and amplified. Of course not every uh, frequency is peaked uh, so has the ideal uh, reception conditions but anyway with the trimmer you can set in a kind of way the frequency band and also with the length of the antenna so do a calculation about frequency and the length of the antenna say such an antenna a wire antenna there are many uh, say useful links on the World Wide Web with which you can calculate how long the antenna must be to receive uh, signals in a certain frequency band. Say 100 megahertz or 110 or 130 megahertz. And when you add for instance a capacitor inside that antenna lead, uh, that can differ. It makes a difference in the frequency band that you can receive and when you mount your coil, in general the frequency that is amplified at its most, at its maximum, goes somewhat down. Anyway, let's listen. The circuit works at its best on 9 volts. And now we hear only noise. And here we hear one of the most important say phenomenon. When you lift up the amplification too much, the circuit starts to oscillate on a low frequency. But again, let's try. Um, the antenna is now here. And let's try to tune this extremely simple radio amplifier with in fact no specific detection uh, property inside. With the help of this 
Kijk en bestel op geenkrassenmeer.nl Zakelijk vastgoed financieren in heel Nederland. Ga naar mogelijk.nl Wow, na lang wachten is Bij T-Mobile kan je nu nieuws de Samsung Galaxy S20 Plus bestellen. Je krijgt naast een superscherpe korting op je abonnement ook nog eens een paar Galaxy Buds Plus te waarde van 109. Dat is een voordeel. Plus tot 109. So, you can surely hear that this receive, receiver works properly, even on frequency modulated radio signals. And I, in fact, don't know how this simple three transistor circuit is able, is able to... detect this frequency modulated radio transmission so properly but anyway that doesn't matter it works and that's very important let's look again <laughs> But of course there are also say problems. For instance, the stray capacitance. When I move my hand to the circuit. The tuning is a little bit cumbersome, but when I move my hand, you can hear that the radio station uh, stops and and say uh, goes back into noise. That has everything to do with the way this circuit was made. It's made on a piece of, uh, say, uh, wood with brass nails. Of course, that can work. Absolutely sure, no problem at all. But when you want to make this circuit more stable, for instance, use here uh, a kind of, say, uh, template on the back side and in all other say uh, ways that you want to uh, make this circuit more stable mount it for instance in a box uh, covered with aluminum foil or template or whatever but that's important when you do that uh, such a VHF coil must not be mounted too close to tin plate or aluminum foil because otherwise it will lose its properties. So, some simple things to take into account. A circuit that works very very properly also on the VHF band where the uh, FM detection takes place I'm not sure and important you can also use this circuit for shortwave in that case there must be a shortwave coil at the input not a VHF coil very high frequency coil. So shortwave coil between say 2 MHz and 30 MHz. 